Traffic version 2 and this is the third video in this series. In the first video we saw how to deploy traffic ingress controller and in the second video we saw some examples on how to create ingress routes and how to route the traffic to your backend services and as promised this video we're going to take a look at how to secure your web applications with HTTPS with DLS certificates. Traffic can request certificates automatically for you when you create an ingress route that requires an SSL certificate and we can use Let's Encrypt to to get the certificate or we could actually traffic will be able to request the certificate for you and in fact it can also automatically renew the certificates when it's about to expire all right so that comes very handy but before that you need to bear in mind some facts about how it all actually works I still have my uh, setup from my previous video all my setup reminds the same I still have the same set of deployments running if I do kubectl get all three deployments nginx deploy main blue green exposed as respective services and i've got the uh, the traffic dashboard here okay so the things to remember is well, what we're trying to do is we've got the traffic pod running and when we're going to create an ingress route traffic is going to contact the let's encrypt server out in the internet to request a certificate so as you know let's encrypt if you have used let's encrypt there are a couple of ways to get the certificate so one is by if you are not in a production scenario just doing something for development or testing you can connect to their staging server and let's encrypt will be able to hand over a certificate which is not a valid certificate but just a kind of fake invalid certificate just to test something out and they've also got their production let's encrypt acme server that you can connect to get a real certificate so in order to do that traffic will request certificate from the let's encrypt server whether it's a staging server or a production server and then let's encrypt needs to verify your item Entity by some ways right so it has to do it by one of these three ways there is the HTTP challenge like the let's encrypt server when you request a certificate to let's encrypt server it needs to verify your identity so it needs to connect back to your one of your services within your cluster to verify that it is really you who are requesting this certificate before handing over the certificate back to you so that's done using the HTTP challenge or a DLS challenge um, having some services running within your infrastructure that let's encrypt can and reach or through a DNS challenge where you make some DNS entries and then let's encrypt will verify that you've made the DNS entry to prove that you are the owner of the application for which you are trying to request a certificate okay so in my case I'm running my Kubernetes cluster in a virtualized environment in my laptop sitting behind my home router so there's no way let's encrypt can connect back to my deployments or I don't have a public DNS server or I'm not using DigitalOcean or Amazon Route 53 for my DNS so there's no way I can ask let's encrypt to verify my ownership so in that case what I'm going to do is by the way ACME stands for automatic certificate management environment so ACME is a protocol and let's encrypt as an ACME server and we've got a compatible ACME server that you can use for testing development or learning purpose right that's called pebble right so we've got traffic and we're going to deploy pebble which is an acme server in the same kubernetes cluster so that traffic pod doesn't have to go out to the internet to get a certificate so traffic pod will request certificate from the local acme server which is pebble and then pebble will generate and hand over the certificate back to traffic so to get this working pebble will be listening on https port and traffic will have to connect through https to pebble and in order to do that pebble will have a certificate a ca certificate and we need to upload that ca certificate to traffic pod otherwise the traffic pod when it try when it tries to connect through https to pebble it will get an error saying the certificate is signed by an unknown authority by the way the certificate that the pebble uses it's just a fake certificate it's not a valid root certificate that your browser trust so you need to add the certificate that pebble uses to the traffic pods certificate store so the way we do it is once we deploy pebble we're going to have a config map it's going to deploy a config map which contains the root certificate so we're going to mount that config map as a volume in the traffic pod under slash search and we're also going to use an environment variable called lego underscore ca underscore certificates that contains the actual path of the root certificate 
So this is how we tell traffic to make use of this certificate when it tries to make a connection to the Pebble server. So the first thing we're going to do is deploy Pebble and then we need to upgrade our Helm deployment for traffic in order to add some additional arguments and these volume mounts stuff so that traffic can talk to Pebble to request a certificate. Okay, so now our first job is to deploy Pebble. Okay, so the important thing is you need to deploy Pebble in the same namespace as traffic. Traffic has been deployed in the traffic namespace but you can deploy people in any other namespace but it's going to be a little bit involved if you want to mount the config map in as a volume in the traffic part it will be easy if you've got both these deployed in the same namespace otherwise the volume the traffic part won't have access to the config map deployed in a different namespace so you need to copy that config map recreate it in the traffic namespace and so on so it makes a little bit difficult and a little bit involved so just deploy people in the traffic namespace so that traffic has access to the config map that people has created. Let's go ahead. I'm going to stop the port forwarding because anyways when we redeploy helm sorry traffic deployment it's going to kill that part. Close that and if I do helm repo list I've got the the traffic repo added so go to the documentation for I'm gonna search for pebble Jupyter hub so Jupyter hub pebble helm shot so that's the one we are going to deploy. Pebble helm shot let's encrypt for unreachable CI environment with Kubernetes. Pebble is an Acme server like Let's Encrypt. Acme servers can provide TLS certificates for HTTP over TLS to Acme clients. In our case, the Acme client is the traffic part, right? All we have to do is just run these three commands. So the first one is for adding the chart repository, done Helm repo update, and then I can do Helm repo list. We have the Jupyter Hub chart repository added. And if I do Helm search repo Jupyter Hub. We have this Pebble app version is 2.3.0. This Helm chart bootstraps Pebble which is an Acme server. Alright so as usual you know I'm not going to blindly install this Helm chart. I'm going to pull the values file and I'm going to update a couple of options in the values file before deploying this Pebble Helm chart. Helm show values Jupyter Hub Pebble. So that's the chart repository. That's the actual chart and I'm redirecting that to a temporary file. Set. So we've got the values file for the Pebble Helm chart and if I edit that values file. What I'm going to change here is a couple of things. So one is this option here. I'm going to uncomment this option. Pay attention to the proper indentation. You need to indent this properly in alignment with the above environment variables. All right, so what this environment variable does? Pebble underscore VA underscore always underscore valid. I'm gonna set this to one, right? That's because I don't want to validate my identity. I want to skip the validation. So again, if I show my diagram here, traffic requesting certificate from an Acme server and the Acme server does a verification. I don't want to verify. I'm just asking Pebble, just don't care about my identity. I need a certificate. I'm forcefully saying, just don't care about it just give me a certificate all I want is a certificate that's it all right so that's what this one is about and then there is this core DNS optional I'm not going to be bothered about installing that so I'm disabling that core DNS component so those are the only two things I'm changing this helm chart disabling core DNS for my deployment I don't really need the component and then I've enabled this uncommented this environment variable and set that to one okay save that and I'm going to helm install helm install pebble yeah helm install pebble chart repository pebble chart and the values file we just edited and I'm deploying this in the traffic namespace which has already been created for us so even if you specify create namespace it's not going to error out it will try to create if it already exists it won't because we know we've already deployed traffic we don't have to create it again helm install pebble all right so now we have to pay careful attention to a few things here the acme server so this is the url for the acme server and you need this when configuring your traffic pod. The traffic pod needs to know where the Acme server is in order to connect and request the certificate. And the other thing to pay attention to is this config map called Pebble. So that's the config map that contains the root certificate that we need to upload to the traffic pod. Remember the config map that I spoke about? So that's the Pebble config map that contains the root certificate. Let's take a look. If I do kubectl-n traffic 
get pods you can now see the pebble pod running fine and again if i do service we have the pebble service so by default it's exposed as node port but doesn't really matter we don't need to access this pebble from outside our cluster it's just the traffic pod that needs access to the pebble acme server let's take a look at minus n traffic get config map there we go so there is this pebble config map that contains the actual certificate and if i do get config map pebble dash o yaml and you can see here it contains so that's the key root dash key dot pem and here is the root dash cert dot pem so that's the certificate that we need to upload to the traffic pod the traffic pod needs to have the certificate in the in its certificate store only then traffic pod will be able to connect successfully to the pebble to request the certificate otherwise it will have certificate error right so we have deployed pebble and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to update the traffic helm values file we're going to update it to add an additional volume from this config map and then mount this volume under slash search directory and then configure traffic to use this certificate by adding this environment variable if you have this environment variable traffic will know that it needs to use this certificate trust this certificate when making a connection to the pebble at me server right hope this makes sense and let's go ahead and edit our traffic values file so still you should be having your values file for traffic right we need to configure traffic for automatic certificate request generation and things like that so we need to add the certificate resolver and if i go to my kubernetes repository and in yamls ingress demo traffic general values.yaml let me increase the font size okay so i have this additional argument so we need to pass these additional arguments in order to make traffic connect to an acme server to request a certificate so this is the uh, the acme email that you need to specify and that's the acme server and that's the storage and we are specifying we need to do a tls challenge but that doesn't matter in our case but anyway you need to pay attention to the server you are using by default it uses the staging server the staging server url is here and if you want to use a production server you can use this um, server url and you need to use if you're using a production let's encrypt url then you need to have a valid email address but for staging it doesn't really matter as you can see here i'm using just a dummy email and this one here dot let's encrypt that's the name of the certificate resolver it can be any name it doesn't matter and that's the resolver that's the name you need to specify when creating your ingress route with tls enabled which i'm going to show in a minute once we deploy this let's copy this and back in our yaml file i'm going to search for additional arguments okay so there we go we've got additional arguments here which is an empty list at the moment so i'm going to paste my additional arguments here so what i'm going to change is the obviously the url here if you remember when i when we deployed the pebble helm shot it gave us the acme server url which is what you're going to use here which is table dot traffic slash dir and you don't actually have to specify the namespace because we've deployed pebble and traffic in the same namespace so traffic will be able to access pebble by just referring to pebble that's good and again let's encrypt we are not actually using let's encrypt we are using pebble so just for the sake of completeness i'm going to replace all these with pebble search for let's and grid and then replace that with table cool and the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to mount this config map called pebble inside a uh, traffic as a volume under slash search so back in the values.yaml file if you scroll about there should be a section saying volumes and additional volume mounts yeah so we have the volume here and we have the additional volume mounts so the volume is empty at the moment so i'm going to add a new volume name is the name of the config map that you want to mount so in our case the name of the config map is pebble and mount path is going to be slash search and type is config map okay and finally we need to add an environment variable to the traffic part let's add that if i scroll down under additional arguments we just updated there will be a section for environment variables so environment variables to be passed to the traffic's binary again it's an empty list at the moment and let's add this environment variable 
name of the environment variable is lego underscore ca underscore certificates lego underscore ca underscore certificates and the value is the actual part of the certificate that we want to use so we've already mounted the slash search directory and in the search directory it's root dash cert dot pem so once we deploy this i'm going to exec into the traffic pod to show you under slash search the list of files that we mounted using the config map okay so that's all we need i'm saving that and we need to upgrade our helm deployment helm list minus n traffic so we have pebble and we have traffic helm releases deployed in the traffic namespace so we need to update the traffic because we have updated the values.yaml file so instead of helm install we've already installed the traffic deployment and we're going to upgrade the existing installation so helm upgrade minus minus install traffic the values and in the traffic namespace okay okay for some reason it says helm repo update me hey let's see i think it's just a temporary network issue or something helm repo update okay i'm running the same command again helm upgrade minus minus install traffic if it works this time okay it worked this time minus n traffic get ports as you can see the old traffic part has been deleted and the new traffic part is getting created all right, so we have uh, we have deployed Pebble and we have deployed we have updated our traffic deployment to use Acme server and now we should be able to request certificate. So now the next step is to create an ingress route, and as I've already shown you, we've already got all these deployments running. So for example, nginx deploy main application. I want to expose this application through ingress and I want to protect it with a TLS certificate. Right. I've decloned my Kubernetes repository from my previous videos. I'm going to go into Kubernetes, YAMLs, Ingress Demo, Traffic. In here, I'm going to go into TLS Ingress Routes. And I've got a couple of examples here. One TLS route and two TLS route. I've got a couple of examples. Let's see what's in one TLS route.example. Okay, so there's one thing that you will notice immediately. The entry point is web secure because we want to use the secure endpoint with TLS enabled. And this is just a simple rule that says if the host is nginx.example.com, forward it to nginx deploy main. And there is this additional option that we pass TLS. The cert resolver is let's encrypt but I need to change that because we've changed the resolver from let's encrypt to pebble. If I show the traffic values.yaml, so that's the name of the resolver. We changed it from let's encrypt to pebble. So we need to update this set resolver to pebble. Cool, and now I'm going to deploy this ingress route, kubectl create minus f. That's created, kubectl get ingress routes. We've got that, kubectl describe ingress route. Host is nginx or example.com, certificate resolver is pebble. Okay, so far so good. I'm just gonna verify whether I've got this in my etc host file. AI etc host, yep, I do have nginx or example.com as well as nginx or example.org mapped to 172.16.16.240, which is the IP address of get service the load balancer traffic load balancer service okay cool so so far everything looks good so now i should be able to go to nginx.example.com and it should be protected by this certificate so traffic has automatically requested a certificate for me via the acme server which is pebble and pebble has generated and granted me a certificate Cool, let's verify that. So for this, I'm not going to use my usual Qt browser because I want to show you the certificate. So I'm gonna go to Chrome browser. And if I go to nginx.example.com, remember I'm not using HTTPS by the way, I'm just using plain HTTP nginx.example.com and it says 404 page not found because we haven't enabled automatic redirection. Ideally, what I would like to do is if you type in HTTP nginx.example.com, it should take you to HTTPS nginx.example.com but we will look at that in the next video where I will show you some of the middlewares that you can use. So if a request is coming for nginx or example.com i can use a middleware to redirect http to https so that's i'm saving that for my next video but now you have to specify https if you want to use that https okay plain http nginx or example.com it says page not found because our ingress route because our ingress route is listening on the web secure entry point so let's now go to https 
nginx.example.com has again said this Acme server is just for development purpose and it has handed over a certificate which is kind of fake invalid certificate that's why you're seeing this warning in Chrome so I'm going to accept this warning and proceed there we go so we are now greeted with nginx welcome page and if I take a look at the certificates of this website this web application is now protected by a certificate although it's an invalid certificate I'm just showing you a rough idea so the certificate is invalid so look at the common name it's nginx.example example.com and the certificate was issued by Pebble. So traffic has successfully requested a certificate. This traffic can automatically request a certificate for your application when you create the ingress route and it also manages the certificate life cycle. So once it's like 30 days before it, it is due to expire, traffic will automatically request a renewal certificate. And you can see here issued on 2021 and it's like five year validity 2026. That's good. And now let's take a look at another example that we've got. I'm going to delete this ingress route. And if I take a look at the second example here, it's again the same thing, but now we are having two host names. So I can access my Nginx application either through nginx.example.com or nginx.example.org. So in this case, how would traffic request the certificate? Because the certificate is valid for a particular domain name. So in the previous example, when I showed the certificate details, the certificate was issued for nginx.example.com. So if you are creating an ingress rule that contains this kind of rule, nginx.example.com or nginx.example.org that contains multiple. So if you've got multiple DNS name in your your ingress route traffic will be clever enough to request a certificate with multiple names for that certificate okay let's see how it actually works again I need to update the search resolver to pebble so I'm gonna edit that and change the search resolver to pebble and I've already added nginx.example.org to my etc host file let's create this ingress route that's created kubectl get ingress routes Describe ingress route. Yep, search resolver is pebble. Host is nginx.example.com or nginx.example.org. We've created the ingress certificate and sorry, ingress route traffic by now should have requested a certificate for us. So now we're going to log in to nginx.example.com, verify that it actually works. So now https nginx.example.com should work. Yep, it works. And nginx.example.org should also work yep it works advanced yep nginx.example.org works nginx.example.com works and if i take a look at the certificate details you can see the common name is still nginx.example.com so this certificate was issued by pebble and it's valid for nginx.example.com if i dig deeper into extensions certificate subject alternate name now you can see that the dns name this certificate is valid for nginx.example.com as well as nginx.example.org so this is how easy it is to generate and use certificates with traffic okay so um i forgot to show the traffic dashboard actually so let's start the port forwarding again kubectl minus n traffic port forward the traffic part on port 9000 Okay, our port forwarding is running and I can go to local host colon 9000 slash dashboard. Don't forget the trailing slash. Now we have our traffic dashboard. And if I explore and you can see now this particular route is TLS enabled and you can see that uh, icon here and the entry point is web secure served by this service. And if I click on that, you will see that TLS certificate detail, the certificate resolver that we used for this particular route, either nginx.example.com or example.org and the entry point and the actual service. All right, the final thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to exec into the traffic port and show the, the mount point. If you remember the config map that we mounted as a volume inside the traffic pod. Let's take a look and if I do kubectl minus n traffic get config map pebble minus o yaml so we have this root key dot pem which is the key and we've got the root cert dot pem certificate and we've also got a json file so we've got three files in this config map and I'm going to exec into traffic exec minus it traffic pod I'm gonna get a shell into it okay so I'm inside the traffic pod now and we've mounted this config map as a volume under slash search so if I cd to search 
You see all those three files are now loaded. Okay, cool. I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hope this was helpful. Let me know, try this out and let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be happy to help and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.